This is one of my experiments. This mirrors focus solar radiation here, where the radiation creates high temperatures to generate steam. Now I will show you one of these four mirrors, and you can see that this surface is conquered. The second surface is a mirror, and you understand that my goal was to find the cheapest mirror to produce the cheapest solar energy, which will win the competition with thermal and nuclear power plants. This my old video showed in detail how I made my concrete mirrors and how I glued reflective films onto their surfaces. Of course, I am not the inventor of concrete mirrors, and for example, these are concrete mirrors which were made for the German Space Agency. They tried to create a cheap alternative to solar power plants of this type, where a similar mirror focuses solar radiation into such a receiver, where the solar energy is converted into thermal energy with a temperature of almost 400 degrees Celsius, which are converted into steam to produce electricity. In addition, some of the thermal energy comes into similar heat storages to generate electricity at night, and it is their advantage over solar panels, which only provide electricity when the sun is shining. This is a technical solution from another blogger who made a concrete mirror not in the shape of a parabolic trough, but in the shape of a parabolic dish. You may still think that concrete mirrors are nonsense, but I will counter with the argument that ancient Roman concrete products have been around 2000 years, while these beautiful mirrors use expensive materials to increase their lifespan to 20 or 30 years. Also, notice these complex structures that are needed to maintain the desired shape of those beautiful mirrors, while concrete is a very inflexible material, and you see that it does not require any additional structures. Also, look at my expenses for making the concrete mirrors, and you see that it is one and a half dollars per square meter of concrete mirrors, which is almost a hundred times cheaper than these beautiful mirrors. It is interesting that the heavy weight of our concrete mirrors turns into an advantage, because our heavy mirrors cannot be moved by a hurricane, and therefore we get rid of the costs of such concrete masses, which are needed to withstand the winds. My YouTube channel systematically describes my experiments with 10 types of cheap mirrors for producing very cheap thermal energy and electricity. My four previous videos describe cheap mirrors based on glass rectangles, mirror steel, reflective film on expanded polystyrene, and mirror balloons. This video was about the fifth type, which is a reflective film on a concrete sheet, but let's look at this cheap berm made from the surrounding soil, and it is another important innovation. We usually think that the main parts of such solar heaters are this mirror and this receiver, but here we see that they form only about 40% of the cost of a solar heater. At the same time, this half of its cost is formed by various structures and devices between the mirrors and the ground, but we get rid of this half of the cost if we replace them with our cheap earthen berm. Now I remind you that traditional solar heaters must constantly rotate according to the movement of the sun across the sky, but we replace this movement of the mirrors with this movement of the receiver. We can notice that this system is many times cheaper than those devices for rotating large and heavy mirrors, and these two of my videos describe this simple and cheap system for moving a receiver. Now I am showing some of the problems which were revealed by testing my concrete mirrors and which arise from the placement of mirrors on burns rather than on any steel structures. These are my mirrors after six months of outdoor use, and the cause of these damages at the lower part of the mirrors is the rubbing of this grass by the wind. Other important features of the construction of those berms and the placement of mirrors on them are described in these three old videos. I remind you that concrete mirrors can have a similar shape of a parabolic trough, but they can also have a shape of a parabolic dish when many similar concrete mirrors form rows, and their receivers move approximately like this. This type of energy production is constantly described in many videos on my YouTube channel, and I strive to achieve this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour, which allows us to produce electricity cheaper than electricity from thermal and nuclear power plants. 
The most important of these requirements are this lifespan of the reflective films and this cost of replacing old films with new ones, and some ideas for quick and cheap replacements of the films were described in that old video. But we know about similar reflective films with a lifespan of several decades, and they must comply with this other formula where this is the maximum allowable cost of the film per square meter.